Today's video is sponsored and the video is about who the sponsor is and that is Uno over at overlays.uno. And Uno is a fantastic marketplace for real-time, easily customizable overlays for your stream. And it runs the gamut of all kinds of streams. It's for your gaming streams, it's for crypto streams, it's for sports streams, it's anything you can think of. And Uno is built on the platform Singular.Live, who's the owner of all of this. And what they've done here using that platform is create a super affordable, incredibly customizable, easy to control library of overlays that you can start using right now. So let's dig into what they have on offer. So here we are on overlays.uno and I've I've already pre-selected a few overlays that I wanted to go over with you to show you how easy they are to set up and how much you can actually do with them. So it's really easy when you go through the library here, there's actually over 500 overlays available and the list continues to grow. But all you have to do is actually select one of these and then add it to your overlays. And then it shows up over here under my overlays. If you select all, here's all the ones that I've actually picked. So let's go through a few of them right now. First up, I'm gonna pick something really simple. We're gonna go through a social loop bug. So I'm gonna select that right now and it opens it up for me and gives me all of the information that I need to know as well as gives me a little view right here. Now to customize this with my information, all I have to do is fill out my information in these fields here. Any of these that I don't use, I just leave blank and they'll be left out. And now that I've got all that filled out, you can see up here that it's actually running in a loop and it's got all of my information in there. Now, if I want to add it to my stream, it's really, really simple. So all I have to do is actually copy here, copy the output URL, and then we're just going to add a browser source. So I'm just going to add the source here, select browser, click new one, I'm going to paste the output that I just had in here, change my resolution and there you go so now we can see the loop right above me there we go and that is now just running on a constant loop now let's say for a second that i want to change this up and i want to customize it i don't want it running on a constant loop we have some options here so let's click customize now we have some things so autoplay forever if i click on here it's actually going to be every one minute every three minutes every five minutes every 10 minutes so let's do every one minute for now and what it's going to do it's going to go through all the values that i filled out and then it's going to stop for a minute then start back from scratch and i can also change your text color and your background color here no problem Vertical position, horizontal position, and scale. You can change all of that here as well. But that's it. You can see how simple that was to set up and it's done. And you can see here they have all kinds of social loop options. So you can pick the style that best suits your stream. Now I want to check out another really cool thing they have, and that's their lower third wizard right here. And when you have something like this, this is exactly what you want when you have your specific branding. You might have your colors that you want to use and all these different things. And this allows you to do it in such an easy way. So the first thing here, let's just set up a really quick name lower third. So I'm just going to call myself by my actual name because that makes sense and here i'll just use my channel name so then that's it that's as simple as it is you just put in whatever text you want to put here now what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to change the colors to make it match my brand a little bit more so i use the purple and gold so what i'm going to do is this top little bit here i'm going to select a purple color so let's go find something in that royal purple and then for the one underneath i'm going to set up a bit of a gold like that so really really quick you can just set up your colors as easy as that and if you have your hex codes that you want to use or anything like that you just can plug them in here now if we keep going down we have a bunch of other options so we get to our effects here and you have your text justification so you can actually change that lower third to be able to do whatever you want it to do your title gradient so you don't have to have anything like that you can just see the background right now if i change it from right to left you can see that change up you can just turn the whole thing off too if you wanted to make a little bit more of a flat image and you can adjust the opacity of each of these gradients so you can see how extreme it gets when we do it on the bottom there then you just have some title modifications here really simple so you got your bold and regular so just go like that make your changes you can also italicize if you are so inclined i don't know why not a big fan of italics your spacing you can change it up to spread it out padding so you can actually increase the size here just like so and then your strokes so that's the actual thickness of the line around then the subtitle modify all the exact same options then down here we've got our corners so right now title top left it's got a little bit of a curve and if you adjust it you can take that curve away completely or you can add an even bigger one so we just kind of add a little bit of a curve there and let's do that with all of them let's try and make them equal so they actually look good so now you have a perfectly rounded corner title field and i like that it looks kind of nice and then you do the same thing with the subtitles here so that's how easy it is to get these set up and you can have all kinds of these graphics set up you could have a number of this exact same template with different name information all set up and ready to go and you can control it all from your stream deck using uno's stream deck plugin which you'll find on the elgato marketplace you can control every single one of these overlays directly on your stream deck really easily all you need to do to do that 
that is go up here where this key is and you copy the Uno token. Then in the Stream Deck app, which we've now got open now, let's drag in a new Uno control. And then we're going to paste the token right here. And now we've got the controls for this specific overlay in here. So I can actually choose what we want to do from here. And it has all kinds of options. So with overlay visibility, you can show it, you can hide it, you can toggle the overlay, all sorts of things here. Overlay content, so we can change overlay fields. So if I did that right now, I can actually go in here and change some of this information with the press of a button. And we have to be really clear. You can't use something like Stream Elements to do something with this level of control, but you could use this on any software that you can think about. I'm using OBS right now, but you could use it on Streamlabs OBS or any other type of streaming software. As long as you can plug in a browser event, you're good to go. Now let's pick another overlay and a totally different way to control it, just in case you don't have a Stream Deck. So we're going to check out this Talking Points one right here, and we're going to open it up. And again, really, really simple setup in front of us. The first thing we're going to do, I'm going to align this to the left so I can put it up on my screen right now. Then again, we're going to copy the output URL. We're going to add this browser event, and you can see that it shows up immediately. From here, if you're doing something topical or news-based, you're having some kind of a discussion panel, an overlay like this is really, really cool. Now, let's go over how to actually navigate it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter in some topics. Now let's do some recoloring here. Again, I want to just brand it a little bit more to myself. So we're going to do a little bit of a gold overlay here. And that looks a little bit more my speed. Now, when you want to go through these topics, all you have to do is change what the active topic number is in this template. So I'm going to change this position back over to the right just for a little second and cover my face up because that doesn't matter as much. And I click to position two. You can see now that the second one is highlighted and the other one's been marked as complete. And if we go to three, it does the same thing four does the same thing and so on and so forth. So let's go all the way back to the beginning for a second. And I'm going to put this back on the left so you can see the beautiful face again. Now I'm going to show you a different way to control this in real time. And so we don't have a stream deck in this scenario. We're going to use our jolly old phone. And here's how we're going to do that. We're going to open our camera app and then we're going to actually scan the QR code right here where it says copy control URL. So I have that here now and I'm just going to bring my camera up, highlight it and click on the app there. And now it's all up in front of me and I can see it right here on my phone. Now all I need to do is control directly from my phone. So if I tap on add there, I am now controlling the entire stream right from my phone. And you can do everything here. You can change values. I can put this back to the right if I was so inclined, which I just did. If I go back here, I can change some of these things here. Say I don't like sub to miscast Joe, I can put subscribe and now when i click that so i've now updated that and i did it all on my phone and what i like about the phone option is again you don't need a stream deck to actually make any of this work but you also don't have to do any of this setup ahead of time you can just scan and then whatever's in front of you you can just do next i wanted to highlight something else they do and they can actually pull data from different areas they actually have access to census.gov crypto.com or you can use your own google sheets or an rss feed or anything like that to fill in data in these different types of lower thirds. So let's open up this crypto ticker for a second because I know there's a lot of crypto streamers out there and we're going to pop the lower third up here. So it's already running. And then you can see over here on this side, you have all kinds of options in terms of the different cryptos that you want to check. So if you want to go in here, you can actually scroll through this giant list and just pick whatever you want. I don't know much about crypto, so we're just going to just pick a few and it automatically fills in all of this. And this is live information that's coming from crypto.com right now. It will update as it's going but you can have this thing running all stream long or you can bring it up and down so you can go like this and you see it disappear turn it back on and you see it has really nice animations too it's not just fade on and fade off or cut on and cut off they animate into the scene and it looks really good but you can get information from anything from sports to weather so many different options and it's really really impressive but again if you just want to create your own kind of stats you create a google sheet you fill in the values that you want and then you extract that into something just like this. And the last thing I want to do for you guys is build out a really simple gaming stream to show you how easy it is to really do it. Uno gives you so many tools at your disposal for a gaming stream for really fun ones too. So you can do simple face cam frames and you could do counters and timers and all kinds of other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a little bit of a challenge and I'm going to try and get 50 kills in one hour in Fortnite. But first I'm going to build out that stream, set up all of my stream deck controls and then get into the game. Now we're going to do a little bit of a time lapse on this, but you're going to be able to see everything exactly as I did it. Check it out. So the first thing I did was set up a face cam. So I found this frame that was Fortnite specific, and then I put my camera behind it, did a little bit of cropping and then moved it into place. Next, I set up another Fortnite specific graphic. I had a social loop there, so I got that all set up with all my information. 
Then I set up the two most important elements of this challenge. First, I had the graphic with my goal on it. I changed the total goal to 50 and reset everything to zero and set up all my controls to be able to add kills as I went via the stream deck. And lastly, I set up the timer. I set the timer up with a one hour countdown, put it over with my face cam and matched the colors directly to it. So now it looks like one cohesive piece over there. So all things told, we set up an entire stream with four overlays, all customized with stream deck configurations in just over 13 and a half minutes. Okay, so we've got a whole setup here and it only took a few minutes to actually get it done. So now what I'm actually gonna do is just play a game based on this setup. I'm gonna have a one hour timer. I'm gonna try and get 50 kills, all controlled via my stream deck. So let's get it going by starting right now. There's the countdown. Let's start playing. So to actually try to accomplish this, I'm gonna have to play a lot more aggressive than I ever play this game. And the biggest challenge sometimes is actually finding people to engage with. Now you can see in the setup, everything is moving seamlessly. The timer's going down perfectly. The social loop is triggering as configured and everything is working perfectly with my counter. The only thing not working the way I'd like it is I'd like to have a lot more kills this early. Okay, so I'm almost halfway through and I don't really like my odds. The second half was a lot bigger of a challenge because I was trying a lot harder to be aggressive and that got me killed early a lot. So I was losing a lot of time waiting for the next game. But while time was failing me, the Uno overlays continued to perform perfectly. There were no glitches, no accidental resets or anything like that. And as we counted down to my inevitable failure, I was happy that I just made an excuse to play the game for a little while. Oh, I didn't even get to 20 in the hour. That sucks. I guess that means I lose my channel. What? And that's all there is to it. Now, I hate that I had to expose that I'm not very good at that game, but to be able to show you how simple it is to put those things together. I've done tutorials before on how to create a counter on your stream, but you have to create kind of the overlay part and then you have to create the graphic part and then the control part. There's a lot of stuff that actually goes into doing that. This one was a matter of copy and paste. It was really, really fast. As was the timer. It was really simple to control and get up on stream. It was easy to make it match my face cam. It was just perfect. Now you can use Uno completely for free and that gives you access to their entire library of overlays. It's not like other websites out there where you're going to have some that you can access and then other ones that are the pro ones and things like that. You can get everything. You can also save an unlimited number of overlays on your account. That is amazing. And on top of that, they're going to give you 25 megs of image storage and 5,000 API calls per day. Now there is a paid version of Uno as well. I know, here we go. This is where they get you. No, this is not where they get you. This is where you're going to want to get them for the monthly cost of $2.99 or a yearly cost of $23.88, which comes out to $1.99 a month. You get the ad free experience on overlays.uno. You get quadruple the image storage and you get double the number of API calls per day. And what I really respected about Uno as my sponsors, they didn't talk to me once about getting people to join up for the paid version. They just want people to check it out, use their overlays, and most importantly, join their discord. So I put the link to the discord down below. Make sure you join it. And when you do tell them the miscast Joe sent you. Now I'm going to take off my sponsored content creator hat for a second, just so that you know I'm serious when I tell you this. I will be using overlays.uno moving forward. Now, I don't need some of their more robust overlays. Like, I'm not going to have crypto crawls going underneath me or live weather updates or sports or anything like that. But the social loops, the lower third wizard, the sponsored video bug, actually creating graphics for something like that in Adobe After Effects or some other program is really time consuming. And I'll be really frank with you, I don't want to spend that time. And think about when you actually update something. So say, for example, I wasn't on kick and then I joined kick. I'd have to go back and make a whole other graphic just to show that. Whereas here, I just have to plug it in really fast or say I've had it with being on X and I decided to leave. Well, I'm not going to worry about all the time I wasted creating a graphic. All I have to do is highlight my name and delete. These are invaluable tools for content creators and they are free. I cannot say it enough. They are actually free. So here's what I want you to do. After you've joined their discord, I want you to go to overlays.uno. I want you to go through their library and I want you to comment in this video which overlay you love the most. I guarantee you're going to find one. Thank you so much again to my sponsors at Uno. And until next time, my friends, let's get to work.